We uh, had done a first edited volume um, called For the Least of These, and it was really bringing theologians and economists together to try to understand a Christian perspective of how to help the poor, help care for the poor. And we felt that it was a really successful project, so we said, okay, what's our next project going to be? And we really wanted to do an edited volume. The benefit of that is that you have a lot of voices, so we have uh, uh, many authors uh, and we wanted to do the same thing, bring in economists, but also bring in theologians. And so when we were really wrestling with what are we going to talk about, there's so many things we could, uh, we said, okay, you know, here's the thing that we're observing is that there's a lot of calls within Christian circles for socialism. This is becoming a more popular term. Uh, it sounds good on paper. Is it good? Should Christians be socialists? I mean, this is a question, right? So. Um, the, the flip side of that coin is, how should we feel about capitalism? Um, and we've talked already about how capitalism is a complicated word that brings up a lot of emotions. So we said, let's deal with that. Let's really assemble a group of authors who are qualified to speak on this topic. And we didn't want to be cheerleaders for capitalism. There's a thousand books out there, and there, some of them are good, that just say, here's why you should be for capitalism. We didn't want to do that. We wanted to take people and say, who are the people that are really bringing legitimate questions? I'm a Christian. Should I be for capitalism or is it bad? We wanted to take those honest questions and try to address them. So each chapter is an effort to address a critique that Christians frequently bring against capitalism or that, you know, they're questioning. And so each chapter is an attempt to take the reader through that critique. And, and then again, they can decide, the reader can decide. And I, I when we came to this idea, we said, okay, Novak has to be part of this. Um, and we reached out to him and he said he would be willing to do it. And we said, look, this book, um, The Spirit of Democratic Capitalism, uh, for many people, they cite that book as a life-changing book uh, in terms of it changed their minds, it changed their hearts. They went from again you know, advocating for socialism to more advocating for a free society. And I think that's Novak's position himself, right? He had that... Um, Revelation, and so when we asked him, "Can you write an updated version of that book?" You know, um, for the 21st century, in light of the fact that we have a new generation that's clamoring, supposedly, for socialism. And he said, "Yes," and we're just very blessed that we were able uh, to to have him be part of the book.